Hi there, my name is John Stevens, pastor of Zion Lutheran Church in Oregon City, Oregon, and we're part of the ELCA, and welcome to Dollar Store Children's Sermons, where we take a look at the lectionary text, we tie them to an item from the Dollar Tree. This is for the seventh Sunday after Epiphany, and we're looking at the narrative lectionary. Uh, the reading is out of the Gospel of Luke, the seventh chapter, 36 to 50, verses 36 to 50. And it's a story about forgiveness. A uh, woman comes in, Jesus is eaten with the holy folks, and a woman comes in, and there's that whole thing. It's like, oh, if she would have known just what kind of woman, if he would know what kind of woman she was, kind of thing, that, that, that tension going on. And Jesus, of course, um, says, you know, and he, does, he knows what they're thinking, and he says, hey, you know what, I got a story for you. I love that. Uh, any, anytime Jesus says, uh, you know, follow up, you've got a thought or something, Jesus goes, hey, let me tell you a story. You know it's going to be directed at you, um, but there we are. So he uh, tells a story about uh, two folks that have debts. One has a, one has uh, a huge debt, the other has a smaller debt, and both debts are forgiven, and this idea about who's going to love them more, and usually it's like, oh, the person that um, the person that had more forgiven. So this, I'm going to use this as to tell the children, go ahead and sin all you want, because no, oh, okay, that's not what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to talk about how our God is in the forgiving business. Our God forgives us. God forgives us, and that is a wonderful thing. And yes, there, there. Um, I don't know. I won't go into this about you know the levels, but this idea that God is a forgiving God. So what I am using, the item I'm using, you can get it from the dollar tree, a dollar store, or you could use your phone if you have this, but I'm going to use a calculator. I know, <laughs> it's a math children's sermon, kind of. Um, I'm going to have a, a, a sign that says forgiveness. I'm going to, I'm going to have a, a little card, and on that card is going to be the zero. I'm going to write zero, and that's, that's going to be forgiveness, because this idea that it's that all these things that is, they equal up like a million sins, that'll be that. I've done this, 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 and zero is my symbol for forgiveness. That God zeroes it out. God says, God, um, that there's God forgives us, and um, when we we say, well, God, I've done this wrong, and God says, I've forgiven you. I can't remember what you did, and it's zero. So I'm using zero, and because the idea is is that we're gonna. Turn on the calculator. I haven't even taken it out of the wrapper yet. That's how we're going. But so you got the calculator and the idea that say, oh, this person, this person um, did uh, 125,689 things wrong. All right. And I hit the times button. And what's the um, what's the uh, symbol for forgiveness? Zero. So I'm going to put in zero. And that equals, so that 125,000 times zero equals zero. Forgiven. God forgives them. Boom. Now, let's try another one. Um, we're going to make a bigger number. Five, 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 six, nine, seven. Holy cow, that's a big number. Five thousand, five, uh, 555,987. That's a lot of things that, uh, wait, that's my number. <laughs> I've done that wrong. And it, What's the, what's the thing for zero? Zero, we equal it. It's zero, wait a minute. The one I just did equals zero, and this one equals zero. That, that means that God forgives me just like God forgives you. One of the ideas is that you can have the kid actually put in the number. You put in a huge number, you say zero, and it's all gone. It's gone. Forgiveness. Gone. And how God forgives me like God forgives you, and God forgives you, and because God is in the forgiving business. And that is amazing good news, and sometimes that's the hardest thing to believe, that God forgives us, and God loves us so much that we claim that and we hold that tight. So, and again, another reminder that God's love is unstoppable. So, um, hope that can be a springboard for your own thinking for your children's sermon. And as always, thanks for stopping by, and I hope you have a fantastic week.